you know, the ideas of like being more mindful or whatever that means to each person. But to me, it kind of means, you know, not becoming numb to your surroundings and like the everyday stuff, but trying to notice the really fun and exciting things that are always kind of hidden within them and that only when you're really familiar with your surroundings can you become attuned to those things. You know, if you're always seeking out like the exciting new places, trying to always have some like stimulating thing going on, you're just getting these like big snapshots of a new exciting thing. But when you become really aware of your surroundings and like all the familiar stuff, then you start noticing the small, interesting things around you. Can you look out your same window every day and see something new and fun there that you didn't see the day before, even if you're always looking out the same window. I'd like more people to do that. I'm Kelly Belter. I'm an illustrator and a printmaker. I do a lot of Rizzo and screen printing. I also run a studio called Polite Company where I make my like Rizzo printed stuff. I make like some stationery, zines, books, goods like that, and work. A lot of the illustration I do is editorial. And sometimes it's a form of communication, like you're trying to communicate ideas or a concept visually to people. And that process of kind of problem solving can be really interesting and can be very satisfying. Illustration or like visual art is trying to communicate some other ideas or, you know, you're trying to interact with an audience and have them understand or like add their own perspective to it. And so I think more and more what I'm interested in with like making art pieces or making prints now and in the future is making stuff that is kind of interactive. And I think in that way, it's motivating to make and share. Otherwise, I would just probably keep it to myself if it was just a bunch of images that I, I just liked. There are two projects I'm really focusing on this year. I've been a lot more interested in making like stationary goods because it's like an interactive book or an interactive publication. I like that people use it in their daily life. I'm trying to make more illustrations that transform into stationary or like stuff that people use every day but creative stationery, not just like a memo book or something, but something that is very specific in its use case or that is kind of clever in the way that it's put together. I made a calendar for this year and I wanted it to be something that transforms over the year. So every page is perforated so that people can tear the illustration off of the calendar every month and like reuse it as print or a postcard or a memo. And that kind of becomes a part of their year in that way as well. I have an interest in printmaking, but also in transforming the prints into something that's not just flat, like one piece of paper. Taking, for example, an image of the window that I would illustrate, but like illustrating several parts, like small parts of it, zooming in, zooming out, basically making almost like a diorama where the prints are layered or they have some depth in the frame you can kind of see different perspectives of the same day or like multiple days in one image. And so that is like a series of art prints that I want to make. It's important to have like multiple pieces that are kind of working together to tell the same stories. One project I'm currently working on has a lot to do with observation. I mentioned that I draw every day. A lot of times I'm like sitting here at this desk and like looking out the window. I try to keep a track of what is outside the window. I mean, it's the same view every day. It can change day to day if you care to like pay attention to it. What if we paid more attention to like the repetitive and seemingly boring things? Can we find exciting and interesting and like new things there? Even if we are looking at the same thing every day or like what kind of charming and interesting stuff comes up if we become more aware of our familiar surroundings. It's good to draw every day and just have like a collection of doodles or drawings or whatever ideas you have that day. And then when you're trying to make something like a print or a zine or whatever, a book, you can kind of look through your old drawings and those like quick sketches and use something that you've done before. Sometimes you're not that 
into what you're drawing, which is okay. I think it's fine to make stuff that you don't like all the time. But then I think you can be surprised sometimes when you look back on it and uh, you actually do like what you've made.